it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so continuing on with the topic of understanding. Okay, what is really going on? Okay, in getting the whole picture. Okay, not just one side of the picture, but getting a whole picture. And rather than just putting a label on something, okay, as it's good or it's bad or right or wrong, you know, before we get to those judgments, trying to understand that, you know, where it's coming from, where it's coming from, because it's been going on for generations. You know, this is something that I've been talking about a lot in all of my videos, you know, and the, okay, so these last few videos have been because we've seen the documentary Leaving Neverland. You know, and one of the things I loved um, the interview that Oprah did, and she talked to Wade Robson, and he said, you know, that for some time he was waiting for his mum to say something or do something to make it all better. And then he realised that only he could do that for himself. And I think that is such a powerful thing to wake up to. If everybody just understood that, you are the only one that can heal yourself. No one, I've been saying this for so many videos. <laughs> no one out there. If you're a person that is waiting to find a romantic partner to create your life with and they're gonna complete you and they're going to heal all these things that you feel are broken inside of you, that is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen because only you can do that for yourself. You can have a partner there and they can support you and they can stand by you. But only you can do that for yourself. Only you can accept yourself as you are, and only you can heal yourself. You're the only one that has that power. So stop looking out there for everyone else to do that for you because it's not going to happen. No matter how wonderful this other person is that shows up in your life, it will never be enough. It will never be good enough for what you need if you're not the one taking your own power making it happen for yourself the other thing I loved you know was when Wade Robson was saying it's it was such a lovely ex oh, not lovely but the experience of letting it all out and chronologically you know from every moment was exactly what I did when I wrote my book I was just the whole time I'm just really relating to him because I'm thinking that's what I did with my book and it's such a freeing experience you know to I don't know about verbally putting it out there, you know, but to actually put it all down and it's out, out from you and you can actually look at it outside of you. It must be the same sort of feeling as seeing it on the screen, you know, than seeing it on a piece of paper. To see all of your experiences, what actually happened and what you actually interpreted from it is such a freeing experience when you can finally see what that experience was really all about. And these videos that I'm putting out, you know, today about this whole documentary is that I'm hoping that somewhere along the line they will realise, you know, that this person that came into their life, that took away so much from them in their childhood, has already been through their experience themselves. And that's what they meant by, I didn't have a childhood. I'm imagining that from quite young that was taken away from him from very very young you know I will always say that people you know that have these tendencies to do harm to children these are learned behaviors they don't just wake up one day and go what the heck you know I just so not thrilled with my life right now. I've got nothing better to do. I've got, well, in his case, I've got everything. I've got all the money. I've got everything I could possibly want. I can do whatever I want. Let's do that. You just wake up one day and decide, I'm going to do that. You know, start molesting little boys. You don't wake up with that thought. If it's not something that's already been shown to you, and the problem is, it's been shown as an expression of love. You know, for many children, these adults are telling them that this is an expression of love. 
this is how to express their love physically not just you know oh, I love you I'll hug you but actually physically giving everything in this is how they're taught to express that love and many of them go into you know they go into being adults and just expect well when they have their own children or if they don't have their own children which he was never planning on having which he did eventually sorry but <laughs> but you know what I mean initially I don't think he had that intention so you know he would find others that he would express his love in the way that they expressed love to him so when you get that that the monster was created by a monster was created by a monster and another monster and it just keeps coming down the line then you can forgive it you can forgiving doesn't mean that you accept that that what they did was right this is a very important distinction okay it's not a oh yeah I get it so you know oh, it makes it right that, that's not what we're talking about but it's about understanding that there was a human being there it's not just a monster it's a human being that's being taught this behavior by another adult before him or before her you know it's not just men that do it and it just goes down the line when you can see that human being and you can see that they've been through the same and to them it's quite a natural thing to do it that way they never stopped and questioned it they never stopped to think oh you know we shouldn't be doing that it didn't feel right maybe to him at no point did it feel wrong it was just this is the way it's done some adults never stopped to question it never stopped to look at how it made them feel as children they don't even want to look at it they just go on into their life and they try to bury that so you know when you can understand that this person's already been through the same and this is not the first video this is just pointing it to something that's just happened recently I have said this in many 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 videos that if you want to free yourself from pain that you're holding on to from your childhood the first step is to accept that that person has already been through that themselves and they don't know how to break that cycle they're just continuing the pattern because that's all they've ever known so I want you to really really think about that because you know in my heart banning all his music and not playing his music anymore it's like you know if we wake up tomorrow and there's no wars in the world there's no more war does that mean we're all at peace think about it banning all his music and not playing it anymore isn't going to erase that this is still happening in the world we're not healing it by destroying his music only love will do that right my darlings I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video bye for now